Hey y'all, I'm Brett Manning. And you're watching Singing Success Vocal Warm Ups. And today what we're gonna do is a pro warm up. But first, Erin, tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, a little bit about me. Um, I started taking lessons from Brett when I was probably 12 years old. I'm 20 now, so it's been a hot second. And I've lived in Nashville for about three years. I'm originally from a small town east of Dallas. And I do the artist thing, I write songs, I play music, and Super happy to be here. My uh, social media handle is at Aaron Kinsey TX for, for Texas <laughs> on those things. You know, the fun thing about you is that you have been encouraged by me and your dad and a few other people to get heavy into the instrumental side of it. How much has that helped your voice? A ton. I think learning the more rhythmic parts of an instrument, which where you're using your hands versus something that you can't really see or touch you just kind of feel i think that's helped me a lot in my songwriting especially i mean even yeah. doing something on piano you come up with something completely different than you would on a guitar so exactly. just knowing as much as you can always helps <laughs> so i find that uh for most people if your playing is limited sometimes your singing is limited and if your singing is limited, your writing is limited. And that's why you have to stretch a pretty wide range. So let's get with it. This is a pro warm up. This is not something the average person would do. We're going to start with uh, NG go. Real deep. It's a nine note scale, an octave plus a ninth. tell she's a pro because she ain't warmed up and she's sliding through that first bridge to the C already which is a high note in On My Own on Les Miserables a lot of girls have to wind up to get there but if you have a mix you're on all the time and the bros somebody asked me when do I abandon my lip rolls? And I said, when do you abandon walking? When do you abandon jogging? When do you aban abandon push-ups? Never. Best single exercise to warm up and stretch out the voice. Now, we're warming up with a specific purpose. You're going in to sing in the studio after this. You're making a little quick demo of one of your songs. Is it a high song, medium song? Is it pedestrian or is it you got to work for it? Ground. Middle ground? Okay. Yeah. So you want to warm up for your experience. All we have to do is warm up, coordinate, and then applicate. So we're going to warm up and just get as soon as she's in a mix, we back off. You don't work out. And then she's going to sing a little something for us. I think we have a guitar around here yeah. somewhere. So let me hear you uh, give me a little. Na, 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 a lot of people need something before this, but it's so permanent that the quality is natural in her voice. Fantastic. It's a little more warmth to the tone. Lower larynx. It still has brightness. Fantastic. So I don't know if you know this, but over the years, you've gone from having that distinctive bridge at A, B, flat, B, to really blending over like a half an octave on your first bridge, which means the bridge is like this. You have chest, you have head, and they overlap. The, uh, and there's the mix. A lot of people hear a definitive change when they go, and the chest voice catches. But for you, the overlap is so far that you can't tell when the chest voice is starting, when the head is starting. You're absolutely right smack dab in the middle. It is quintessential mix. So do it like her. Do it like her because she's got mix for days. And mix mix is so much easier, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. You know, remember when you were young and the chest voice, you could wind up for it. And 
he did that one thing with Ed Cash, and he was like, okay, it's really high, you can hit the note, but the voice isn't quite developed into that. And then as you got your larynx down a little bit, the tone opened up, and he's like, is this Aaron? When I sent him something, he said, that's Aaron. You're also the, doing four-hour gigs. You can't do it all. You can't. <laughs> that's right. And there's times when you've done super long gigs, and you, you were already tired, you're already beaten down, and you were sick. You had like a 20-minute warm-up and everything was fine. Mm -hmm. uh, anyway, give me a the the last one for the most balanced again is a mm, so say let's get these ribs get these muscles say. Mm. Mm. Now because you're going to the studio to warm up your trills a little bit. Just make sure it's there. Just... It's there. You know, you know, my daughter Tess has been following you for so long and sings your songs and loves it. Now she's recording. She's like, oh, it's so fun. And um, she says, there just comes a time when your voice is just kind of always warmed up. And you know this, right? Yeah. Like warming up is basically just tricking yourself for a small refinement. So if you're a beginner and you're doing this and you're saying, my voice still doesn't feel very good, it's because you're a beginner. It's not supposed to feel good yet. It's supposed to be hard. Learning to sing good was kind of easy. Learning to sing great has been painfully hard. Absolutely. <laughs> so much work. So many little small refinements where I'm going after the smallest little details. No, you, you got to attack that note right on the note because if you don't have that type of pitch accuracy, getting on stage can be murder. So the only thing left to do is sing. So let's grab a guitar and let's do that. And this is your single that's coming yeah. out, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, y'all. Share it on your Instagram. We'll have a contest. We'll we'll announce a little contest. Ooh. It'll be fun. If you don't have Drunk too, you need to listen to that too. What a fantastic song! Thank How you. many songs you've written? Too many. <laughs> More than I could ever put out. Five hundred. Probably around that. Yeah. Okay, so set up the song you can use for us. Well, um, I wrote this song with two writers from Demolition, Michael August and Josh Ronan. And you know, I started dating my current boyfriend when I was a freshman in high school. So it's been a hot second. Um, but when we were in high school, the only alone time we ever got was in the car because we grew up with our parents, as you do. And then we went to school, and it was on the way to for him dropping me off or me going to his house or whatever. That was the only time we got. So it's just about enjoying that time together that you get where you're alone and you don't always get to be. <laughs> and, and this is that lyric about somebody on the radio. Who is that girl? Oh, yeah. It has nothing uh, to do with that. Uh, yeah, nothing, nothing to do, to do with that. that. And I have to just tell you all, <laughs> I, I got to say from a very young age, and you guys are very different sounding, but I've compared your charisma, your energy, and your talent to Haley. It's um, a huge compliment. <laughs> it, it, it really is. She's pretty extraordinary. Um, Absolutely. So are you. So let's Thank hear you. this.
wish I could sing like that in the morning. <laughs> that was early. Holy cow. It just blows me away. Thanks. You know, you know um, a lot of coaches will stop when there's nothing there to try to prove that they're worth the money. And they're like, you don't fix something that's not broken. That was, that was just flawless. That was amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Now, if you if there was something that I had to, a small pick on, maybe just a little crunchier in the yeah. chorus. Just just li little. Let's articulate those words so much that it's almost obnoxious, and just see what happens. Just do the chorus. All right. And this time, act, and can you kind of do a, a down chorus with it? Yeah. yeah. Sputter it. Cool. Go ahead. Right here we belong. Yeah, you and me. This white Toyota. just gave you just this little bit mu more energy but yeah. it wasn't too much because you know you could actually do too much right oh, yeah. anybody can well it actually made me feel like I could get more air in because I was finishing the words cleaner yeah and uh, I was able to breathe a little bit more which is good for a song like this oh yeah so when you perform that live does it take the wind out of you a little bit I have not performed it live yet. oh you've not so, yeah. Not till now. <laughs> yeah, not till now. Um, I actually have rehearsal this coming weekend, and that's going to be oh, gosh. the test. When's your next week's show? I actually play at Southern Junction in, uh, it's outside of Rockwall, where I, my home Oh, my So gosh. it's a dance hall in Texas on August 21st. Okay. So I'm excited for that. It'll be fun. All right. Well, I got some people out there. I'll have to tell Please, a yeah. lot of people out there in Texas. So we'll, <laughs> we'll announce that, too, along this. It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. So you got to go to a you got to go to the studio and record now, right? Yep. Well, we'll <laughs> look forward to hearing that. And thanks for coming by. I appreciate oh, of course. Thank you. Thanks you so much. much. See y'all.